Okay, welcome back. So today I'm going to do a review of uh, a series of cigars. This one's just one of them, but of the uh, what they call the TAA series. That's the Tobacco Association of America series of cigars that I think about 40 different cigar manufacturers um, participate in. And it, it's sort of their their lobby, so to speak. But uh, regardless how you feel about that, uh, every TAA cigar that I've had, no matter what the brand, has been excellent cigar. So uh, whatever they do, they make a different blend. It's always been really, really good. So, so we'll get into that. But of course, first we'll uh, we'll say hi to Liza. We got a special appearance from Wadi today. Wadi's in here, being a little shy, but. We got the uh, watch check. I had this one on the other day again too. This is the Seiko Premier. Uh, the Premier brand, other than this one, I didn't think was great, but uh, this one I really like. It's an automatic. Actually, I just picked up, it was a pretty good deal on eBay, an extra band, so a brand new band. It's one of the very unique brands of Seiko. And then there also with it was sort of the leather strap gator band, but Nonetheless, uh, boot check real quick. Came in out of the rain today. Got the um, crocodile belly boots on. And uh, these are Corral. And uh, Daisy's going to come in and say hi. So. so let's get into the humidor and uh, review this. So I picked up a couple of sticks um, the other day. And... Maybe I'll review this Allendino. Looks kind of interesting. It's a limited edition. I don't know if I've done an Allendino yet. I, I like those. Um, but that, you'll see that there. But let's get this TAA um, out here. And uh, this is, uh, I'm really looking forward to this. A lot of interesting detail about it. So let me pull it out. We'll take a look at it. And uh, of course, I'll get her fired up. So this is the uh, Lost Angel. Um, lighting might not be very good. I'll put my hand in front of that and we'll see if we can get focused in. That's even worse. My goodness. We're, you could tell this day was going to be a crazy day. So it's in the wrapper. Let me get that out of there. But you can see sort of the information. <laughs> Maybe if it focuses so there's the lost angel 2023 you see the size there six by 54 that's a nice size and um it's the taa you can see the band it's a really dark cigar dark and oily i think it's a corojo wrapper i believe it's a dominican uh Mexican filler, but we'll check that for sure. So, also, you know, if you you're inclined to leave comments, I always appreciate the comments. Um, but you can tell me how my new microphone's doing if you watched some of my older videos. So I think it's doing much better. You don't have the distance, the echo, and you don't have to hopefully adjust the volume as much so the microphone's on me and then there's one connected to the phone if you want to know about that microphone it's called Rode and I did a review of that R-O-D-E is uh, the brand name and I did a review and kind of a test of the difference with it and without it and it's pretty uh, pretty substantial so good uh, Good flavor. This is supposed to be kind of sweet. Um, so we'll see about that. And uh, um, like I said, dark, oily wrapper. Uh, good draw, pre-light. No obstructions, which is nice. And we'll get it fired up. I really do like the uh, crown head cigars. Really a nice, uh, nice addition to the cigar family. And 
I tried the um, Angels Anvil, and I can't remember. I think they were good. I, I can't remember much about it. So this is sort of a continuation of that series, I guess, the prequel, as they call it. This is the Lost Angel. All right. Three puff test is uh, perfect, perfect draw. A lot of nice, heavy smoke. A really nice flavor right away. Not, not flavored like a acid cigar, but you know how when you, you light a cigar and, uh, hi Waddy, come on up. And uh, it's, uh, just hits you the right way. Well, that's what this one did. So it's, it's really good. Um, let me look it up here. Oh. Crown head. Lost Angel, TAA. So it just started arriving at stores here uh, last month. As I said, 6x54, Ecuadorian Sumatra hybrid C9 wrapper. I don't know what that means, uh, hybrid C9, but um, I do tend to like the Ecuadorian wrappers. So, Ecuadorian wrappers. So, um, I think that's a good. That was a good sign when I heard it had that. Uh, it's got fillers from Dominican, Mexico, and Nicaragua. And um, it's made in the uh, Carrillo factory. So that's interesting. Carrillo I've had mixed success with. Uh, some of them I really like. I'll tell you, <laughs> speaking of the TAA, if you get a chance to get the TAA and the Carrillo, those are phenomenal and they're a very good price point so highly recommend those Th speaking of price point this is about uh, 13 to 14 dollars depending on your retailer so just a tad bit of pepper uh, again you've heard me probably say I'm not a big fan of pepper but this one's not not overwhelming by any means, but it is rich. So it's a rich cigar, you know, kind of a rich tasting, not money rich, but but um, it's got a definitive flavor, you know. So the uh, strong, yeah, I'd say uh, on the strong side. Too early to tell if I would really call it um, a definitive strong cigar. It's definitely uh, leaning that way. It's definitely at least a medium plus. So it's got some pretty good, pretty good flavor to it. Um, so the TAA, as I was talking about, it is kind of interesting. I guess that's a membership group. Includes 40 manufacturers, and and they uh, they have a annual trade show um, so they do other things other than lobby but I've always heard they're kind of the lobby organization and, and you probably need that uh, certainly in the United States um, you know depending on the public view of smoking right it's always uh, um, a little bit uh, you know precarious in that you never know right so smoking can get outlawed many places uh, many places today you can't really go you can't smoke indoors hardly anywhere unless it's a cigar shop um, maybe a smoke shop of some type but um, even some outdoor in public you can't smoke you can't go to sporting events and smoke um, the old uh, 
pictures of uh, baseball games had people smoking. Everybody had a cigar. So, so anyway, I guess my point is it's good to have um, some lobbyists there so you have your voice heard or the industry's voice heard uh, so that smoking and cigars don't get further, further banned more than they already are. So, I really do. I, this is a good cigar. And, and again, the crown heads I have good luck with. Uh, the TAA, I've never had a bad one. So, I'm not going to belabor it um, far enough into it that I already know it's a great cigar. So, I don't know what kind of uh, rating I'd give it. But, it, it's, you know, it's definitely at least a B-plus cigar. Maybe an A cigar, I don't know. Waddy's coming back. They're getting anxious. His little buddy, the other puppy from up the road's coming over. Papa's bringing him. So it's going to get loud in here soon. So I will uh, likely wrap up here. But uh, let me know your thoughts. If you tried these, what you think about the crown heads? Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about it other than I give it a thumbs up, a big thumbs up, two thumbs up. And it's a very good cigar. And I imagine if it ages more, it'll become even better. So, with that, we'll wrap her up. And uh, we'll see you next time.